Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany and so today what I'm going to talk about is how to create your own journal for tracking crystals and gemstones. So if you're new to crystals and gemstones like I am, then this might be a good video for you. So anytime I get into a new subject, so I tend to be super multi-passionate, I'm into all kinds of things and pretty eclectic and what i like to do when i start to study something or really get into something is really create my own references create my own resource create my own structure around it so what i've done here is i've pulled together some different prompts or different aspects of crystals that you might want to track if you're creating your own crystal journal i also want to mention that I do also have, I have created a crystal grimoire that's available on Amazon. It's super simple. Um, I will link that below, but really this video is about how to create your own. So really all you need is a notebook and a pen to get started. All right, so why create a crystal grimoire or journal? First of all, I, for me personally, I like to create structure when I have a crystal and I really wanna learn something if I'm writing things down and I'm making connections with other things, it really helps me. Secondly, if you keep all of your crystal information all in one place, it's really easy to reference. And third, you know, if you document your practitioner notes or your experiences with each crystal, you'll start to understand how these crystals and gemstones really work for you. So for example, Moldavite is an example of a gemstone that I like to work with quite a bit, but I've heard a lot of people say that some people can't handle Moldavite. It's like too intense. Um, but for some reason I can handle Moldavite and I think it has something to do with my upbringing because I was actually, my family comes from Czechoslovakia and Romania, which is the area where um, Moldavite is often found. So I just kind of think maybe that's the reason why. But anyway, if you're documenting your experiences with the crystal, then you'll know, okay, well, this one's too intense. This one's perfect. You know, the whole like Goldilocks thing. All right, so what are some prompts that you can put in your crystal grimoire or journal? So the first one is simple. Name the crystal and gemstone, like what is the name of it? And then you might want to have a description or an image to reference for later. Two, what are the correspondences with the crystal or gemstone that you're working with? So for example, it might be good to go, you know, get a book, or go out on the internet and research that crystal quite a bit and find out what is its classification? What are the elements that it's associated with? So is it associated with water? Is it associated with fire? Is it associated with air? Also, what are the deities that the crystal is associated with or the gemstone? Not all crystals or gemstones will have a deity association, but that might be something good to look into. Also, is it associated with the zodiac sign? And then finally, are there any planetary associations with it? Because when crystals or gemstones or anything really has an association with a planet, it can kind of give us a flavor and understanding of what's going on or what the energy of that crystal is. All right, three. So document the metaphysical properties for each crystal or gemstone. So for example, is it associated with an energy or a chakra? Does it have healing aspects to it? So is it known for healing? Is it known for um, enhancing healing in some way? Also do some research and figure out, does it have any magical uses? Like how can you use it in magic? And then lastly, what are the spiritual benefits of this, having this crystal around? You know, is it going to clear a room? Is it gonna clear a space? Um, those sorts of things. Four, how do you care for this crystal in the sense of cleansing it and charging it? So is this a crystal that does well being charged in the sun? Is it a crystal that does well being charged in the moonlight? That sort of thing. Five. So this is a continuation of caring for the crystal, but you know, is it heat safe? Can you put it in sunlight without it losing its color or luster? Is it water safe or does you do you need to keep it away from water? Um, is it like super intense? You know, is if you make contact with the skin, is it going to maybe potentially cause some irritation? And then finally, is it safe to use in elixirs or in bottles of water, for example? So I know that there are some 
you know, stones and crystals that are safe to put in water and you will find water bottles that you can buy with like, you know, say different crystals inside of them, like rose quartz, or I think I've seen them with amethyst and rose quartz, or is it unsafe to use in that way? And then finally, six, creating a space in your journal. And usually you can do this in a two page layout, but to document your practitioner notes and experiences. So as you're working with the different crystals, make sure to kind of document your experiences with them, how they affect you, if they feel if you feel like they were effective or not, that sort of thing. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Um, if you are interested in creating your journal, I have the prompts listed for you below to reference. And uh, thanks for watching.